Harm Reduction Strategies for Cannabis Use Cannabis is a plant genus containing over 80 naturally occurring compounds called cannabinoids. The two primary cannabinoids are tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, and cannabidiol, or CBD. THC is psychoactive. CBD is not. The potency of cannabis is related to THC concentration, CBD to THC ratio, and route of administration. While cannabis use appears less risky than other substances, data shows that it is still associated with multiple adverse medical, mental health, and social outcomes. It is important for healthcare providers and consumers to understand the risks of cannabis use, as well as strategies to reduce those risks. These harm reduction strategies include provide education, People who consume cannabis products should be made aware of the risks to facilitate ongoing, informed decisions mm. about use. Legal is best. Only use cannabis products obtained from trusted sources to mitigate both potential social and physical harms. Store your product in a cool, dry location. And do not use products that seem contaminated or spoiled. Know the nature and composition of your products. High THC concentration is associated with increased adverse effects, including tachycardia or elevated heart rate, impaired cognitive function and coordination, and reproductive challenges. On the other hand, CBD has been shown to protect the nervous system and relieve pain and inflammation. Consumers should ideally use products with lower THC concentrations and high CBD to THC ratios. Use less. Like alcohol, there is no accepted safe level of cannabis use. Abstinence is the only way to avoid any risk. If you are going to consume cannabis, know your limits. If cannabis is hurting your quality of life, cut back or stop. Frequent use is strongly associated with higher risks of severe or long-term adverse outcomes. Therefore, only occasional use is recommended. Delay onset. Adverse effects, particularly with heavy or more frequent use, are most pronounced in early onset users. Cannabis use is often initiated in adolescence and is most prevalent among young adults in the U.S. Major neurodevelopment occurs during this transition period. Research suggests that individuals can substantially reduce their risk for adverse health outcomes if they delay cannabis use until after adolescence, when the brain is more fully developed. Route matters. Every method of cannabis consumption has drawbacks. However, smoking cannabis has been shown to be the most harmful consumption method. If a person enjoys inhaling their products, purchasing a high-quality vaporizer will reduce risk by heating the plant to the point that it releases vapors containing desired cannabinoids without burning it. For persons who do smoke their products, it is important to know that the risk is further amplified with deep inhalation. If smoking, avoid the practice of taking a deep breath and holding in the smoke, as this disproportionately increases the intake of toxic material into the lungs. Evidence-based harm reduction strategies for use of cannabis are similar to those for other substances. Obtain your cannabis from a safe source. Store it safely. Know the potency. Start low, go slow. Aim for safe routes of use and use clean equipment every time.